the 10th time in the last 12 years, Utah State is bowling. The Aggies are matched up with Memphis in the Serve Pro First Responder Bowl in Dallas, Texas. Hi, everybody. I'm Jesse Kurtz here in the Mountain West Network studio, where it's my pleasure to head to the Beehive State and bring in the voice of the Aggies, Scott Gerard. Scott, appreciate you making time for us. Happy holidays. You as well, Jesse. Always fun to hop on with you. Yeah, all right. Let's talk about this bowl game for Utah State. A year ago, Calvin Tyler had a heck of a bowl game in Los Angeles, rushing for 120 yards and a score. Fast forward to this year, he followed that up with a stellar senior year, rushing for over 1,000 yards en route to being named second team all Mountain West. How valuable was he in turning the Aggies' 1-4 start into another bowl bid season? You know, absolutely critical. And, and one of the reasons, there, there's a lot of reasons we can talk about the one and four start, but injuries played a part and injuries were a huge issue for this Aggie team all season long, starting with their, you know, with Logan Bonner right out of the gate. And so this is a team that really had to battle through injuries and replacing a lot of guys throughout the season. But the one constant all year was Calvin Tyler. And if you go back to our conversation for the, you know, the season kind of preview for Utah State, I mentioned to you that Calvin Tyler, one of his goals, and one of his personal goals was to get to 1,000 yards. And his consistency, his level of play, despite quarterback changes, wide receiver changes, offensive line changes, the one constant was Calvin Tyler. And uh, he was able to manage that 1,000 yards and was absolutely critical for this team to get back to a bowl game. Well, it's been fun watching him over the last couple of years. Became the 11th player to top 2,000 yards in his career at Utah State. Hey, defensively, the Aggies have been led by maybe an unexpected standout. Talking about a freshman, Ike Larson, who was recently named to the College Football News Freshman All-America team. How exciting was it to watch him play and know that this guy can be a building block for the future in Logan? Yeah, super special player and obviously young. He's a Richard freshman, as you mentioned, and and uh, is getting all kinds of accolades. And it was interesting because right out of the gate, he had a big interception late in the first game of the year against UConn. And so we're all thinking, okay, was that just kind of a flash in the pan from a youngster? Or is it going to be a player that consistently gets better throughout the course of the year? And it was option number two. He just continued to get better, not only just as a defensive player, but as a special teams player with multiple block kicks, including one against Alabama. Uh, he's all over the field. He can help in run support. He's great in coverage. The sky is really the limit as to what Ike Larson can do here at Utah State. Uh, was just named yesterday as well, pro football focus on the first team on the defensive side uh, in the Mountain West Conference. This guy's going to be a really special player in Logan for a long time and a hometown kid too. Played at Skyview High School just north of Logan. So the community has really wrapped their arms around him. He conversely with Utah State as well. It's been a big, big get for Utah State and a great developmental option for Utah State to really continue to build this defense for years to come. Well, he's making everybody proud. There's no doubt about that. The only player in the FBS that has four interceptions, three block kicks, and a defensive touchdown this season. Yeah. The only player, so that's pretty cool. All right, Memphis uh, on the other side will be led by one of the top young guns in the country. Talking about Tigers quarterback Seth Hennigan, who is just a sophomore, but already ranks fifth all-time in passing yards and passing touchdowns in school history. What has impressed you the most as you've taken a look at this team and what he can do with this Tigers offense? Yeah, certainly in the completion percentage up around 65% doesn't make a lot of mistakes. This is a Memphis team that Utah State is very keenly aware of. And again, when you have good quarterback play, it's going to keep you in a lot of games and certainly make you uh, make you make you a challenge. Uh, Utah State defensively is really up for this challenge. And the one thing about Utah State that they're really fired up about is the fact that while I think they would have liked to have played a bowl game a little earlier and then, you know, let the kids enjoy Christmas and, and then get ready for spring ball, uh, the fact that there's a little bit of a gap, they don't play until the 27th, is going to allow some players hopefully to get back and healthy, including A.J. Carter on the outside, which they're going to need against that high-powered passing offense of Memphis. So if you have Ike Larson, who's healthy, who had to miss the last game that we just talked about, if you have a Johnny or A.J. Carter back in the lineup, um, you're going to get some help defensively, and they're going to need that up against this Memphis offense, which uh, I, I anticipate we're going to see uh, see a lot of points on the board in this game. Should be a lot of fun in Dallas. Oh, no doubt about that. Hennigan is the fourth quarterback the Aggies will face this season that has averaged more than 260 passing yards per game. So they've seen this type of quarterback, and I, I look forward to seeing how they play against him. Scotty, appreciate the time, appreciate the knowledge. Happy holidays to you, and safe travels to Dallas for the bowl season. You as well, Jesse. Thanks for your time. We appreciate it.
You bet. That's Scott Gerard, the voice of the Utah State Aggies. By the way, you can watch the eighth all-time meeting between Utah State and Memphis in the Surf Pro First Responder Bowl on Tuesday, December 27th, 2.15 Central Time kickoff on ESPN. From the Mountain West Network Studio, I'm Jesse Kurtz.